What's up guys, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I want to show you a quick example of a coach applying token pressure. Token pressure, he's doing a really good job in this clip so I'm going to show you the clip here in a second. But before we get into it, token pressure is something it's really important to understand what token pressure looks like and how it should function because a lot of times, uh, you know, we see especially with less experienced coaches, they get excited, they want to jump in the drill, they want to, they think that they're helping the player by providing some resistance but sometimes they provide too much resistance to the point where the player can't develop the skill that they're trying to do in that particular drill. And this is very common, like when we're learning puck protection tactics, which is what we'll see in this video, uh, it's really important to apply token pressure as the players are getting used to the feeling of protecting the puck from the attacker. And uh, if we jump in there, you know, first of all, as coaches, Generally, until we get to about like Bantam age groups, generally we're bigger than the players we're going against. We've got a longer reach. So for us to jump in and stop a youngster, it's it's ineffective. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and there's no pride in that, <laughs> you know? We wanna jump in and provide enough resistance that they have to function, but not enough resistance that we can just, you know, cause if we wanted to, we could really just knock the puck out their stick every time, especially against, you know, an eight year old or a 10 year old. Um, so. Let's jump over to the clip I want to show you. We're going to run it in slow motion. I want to show you exactly, like this is a picture perfect example of token pressure. This video clip I pulled from uh, Bronco Hockey off their Instagram page. So um, go check them out. Uh, they're, it's Bronco Hockey. So they've got a lot of great stuff on there. But this one in particular, um, you know, they're doing a puck protection drill. So this is kind of a drive skate. Let's pull it up and I'll show you. This is kind of a drive skating type drill. We're going to let this play. Like I said, we're going really slow motion here. Okay, notice how he just puts the stick just on the hip of that player. That's exactly where we want it to be. So on the backhand side, the player needs to get his hand out. On the forehand side, he's throwing the, his right hip out, right? So two hands on the stick on the forehand, one hand on the backhand using that puck protection. Now the coach, you know, the coach is an adult. The kid is a kid. If the coach wanted to, he could probably jump in there and knock the puck right off. Right, but that's not the point. The point is to get the kid used to, you know, switching hands under pressure, feeling where that pressure is going to be in the game, and then, you know, setting the body positioning between the puck and the player that's trying to, um, you know, to get that pressure. Now, as they go through this, this is going, you know, we would progress this, right? So this is kind of the the initial phases of a puck protection type drill. Eventually, we we want to get this to the point where, you know, put it in a one on one situation or put it in a situation where there's another player their age and they're going full out, you know, full speed, full intensity, and uh, the defender is trying to get the puck off the, off the puck carrier, and the puck carrier is trying to protect the puck in the game situation. So um, I'm gonna speed this up just so you can kind of see it in full motion, uh, full speed, but it's great. This is a great example of puck protection, one that we should always, you know, be thinking about as coaches. So let's go jump it right up to full speed, and this is what it looks like. It actually speed, or smooths out a little bit when we go back into full speed. So a nice little drive skating drill, really nice way of, you know, the coach kind of just following that player down the ice. Looks like they're running a demo here, um, but this is fantastic. So just get that stick on the hip, let the player feel the pressure and respond to it, but not so much pressure that it kills the drill. And that's kind of what we're after. So token resistance, great concept to think about, you know, great thing to implement in your, in your drill progressions as you're going through puck protection, especially in puck protection situations.